I'm Zach, and this is my wife, Emily, and this is our son, Max. We built our first house entirely by ourselves, and now we're working on our next project, a small waterfront cabin on a lake in East Texas. So subscribe and follow along. So we're building this uh, entry deck, and I'm just trying to determine where this post is going to be. Daddy, Daddy, I have a saw, Daddy. I'm um, sure. So instead of pulling a bunch of strings and everything, I just have this really straight board, and I have it uh, attached to the back side of the house, so this will kind of square it up with the house. Okay, tell us what we're doing, Max and Zach. So we're digging the holes for these posts, and um, the ground's really dry right now, so the clay is super hard, so I'm having to use this little uh, rotary hammer just to kind of chisel out some of the clay. Where's your shovel? So I'm going to be drilling a hole in each of the posts and uh, putting one of these anchor bolts through. That way it'll kind of anchor the post to the concrete, just make them, tie them together a little bit better, make it stronger. And these posts have a higher treatment level than your standard ground contact. As you can see they're like way greener, uh, so they should, they should last a long time. All right, I've got all these posts concreted in. So I'll let these cure until tomorrow, and then I can start uh, working on the girders and running the joists. So, until tomorrow. So we're going to use a 2x10 uh, beam to be like the girder and I'm notching these posts so that it can sit onto the top of the post and also be through bolted to the post. And So yeah, I'm just going to notch east, each post, east post. That one's pretty level, so. Just measure down from the top. Measuring down nine and a half, which is the height of the two by 10, so that we know how far down the notch needs to go.
so yeah, I screwed up. I, uh, whenever I was getting the height for this, the way I did it is I put the level on that end on the underside of where the joists are gonna be. And uh, I measured down from the bottom, but I was supposed to measure from the top of this down. And that would have given me the same height as underneath, underneath the ledger board. So I'm off now by two and two and an eighth or so. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna cut some two inch blocks to bring this back up to the right height. On this end, I'm trying to get away with not putting a post. Um, so I'm using this beam that's kind of cantilevered out. It's a big three by 12 beam that's holding up our house. Anyways, I've attached a uh, two by 12 to that beam and it's only sticking out maybe another 16 inches or so. Um, so I feel, I mean, I feel like it's probably gonna be plenty strong, but we'll see. If I have to, I can come back and either add a post or maybe do a 45 knee down to that other post there, so. I'm just marking a straight line because I'm gonna drill these holes since it's so close to the end, I don't want it to split the board. All right, so I've got the girder in place. I've got it all screwed in. Since the board is sitting on top of the post, um, since it's notched out, um, I think that these lag screws will be plenty strong enough just to hold it in place. It just needs to keep it sucked up against the post. And uh, right now I'm working on flashing the ledger board. I'm using this Sub Seal 40. Um, this stuff is made for like sealing basements and stuff like that. Uh, but you can use it for pretty much any flashing application um, and then also behind I have the same product and uh, that's just stuck to the outside of the the zip sheathing I was trying to find like an actual profile like a vinyl uh, flashing but I couldn't find any locally um, so I read that you can use this stuff and uh, should hold up pretty good I'm going to come back and do some zip tape from the sheathing down over here and that'll seal that up good. So I just need to finish up this section and then I can start on the uh, joists. All right, so I'm making a little bit of progress here on the deck. I've got uh, almost half of the joists in place, um, but I forgot that I wanted to add some of this uh, this joist tape on top of the joists and also on top of this uh, girder beam. Uh, so before I go any farther, I'm gonna try to get this tape ran on top of the, the girder before I lay any more joists down. I think I can just lift these up individually and run the tape underneath. This stuff is a uh, butyl based tape and it's uh, self-adhesive. I picked this up at Home Depot. Um, yeah, and it just runs over the top of your joists. 
should help keep them from rotting prematurely. I'm just about ready to start laying the decking down. I decided instead of staggering the boards, I'm just going to do some 12 foot long boards here. They'll butt up against a board running perpendicular like this. So yeah, I've just been doing some framing under there and uh, had to notch out for this post and had to do some of the flashing under there. So that board's down and ready to go. Just need to add the joist flashing to the rest of these. Then I can lay out this section. These are 12 foot long boards. Then over here it'll just be some 16 footers. So I wanted to try a uh, somewhat concealed fastening method for the decking and I found this uh, camo Marksman Pro and it uh, works pretty good. You just clamp it onto the sides and it automatically sets the gap of 3 16 and then you just load it with uh, two of the screws and screw it down. It's not completely concealed, but you can see the holes it leaves are really small on the sides there. So when you're just looking at the deck, you can't really notice them at all, unless you know where they are. So yeah, I think it gives it a lot cleaner look. Good. So when I was framing out for this, uh, this perpendicular decking board, I, I did the blocking across there, but I overlooked the fact that I'm going to have decking coming on this side too. Um, so I had forgot to add these uh, pieces of blocking here. Uh, so I just got finished doing that. And um, if I would have thought of that ahead of time, I could have just ran a joist across there that could have served as uh, this blocking for uh, this board and also to catch these boards coming this way. Overlooking little stuff like that ends up costing a lot of time, but uh, oh well. Maybe next time I'll remember. Alright, so the deck is pretty much done for the most part. Um, I just have a couple more boards to put down. The next big thing is I need to get the stairs installed. And I'm just going to put a temporary railing up for right now. Eventually we want to do a, a stainless cable railing. Um, but I'll probably wait and do that once all the decks are done. I can just do it all at the same time. But yeah, I want to do a temporary railing for right now just so when Max is up here and when people are working, no one's going to accidentally fall off. So yeah, I'll finish up the stairs and stuff in the next video. And I may start building another deck on that side of the house, on the front side. Or I may start framing out underneath down there. I have all the material to do that. But I do have some help coming next week. I think Timmy's going to come back and help me out for a little while. Yeah, it's been pretty slow working by myself, so I'm looking forward to having some more help. Be a little bit more productive. Alright, well that's going to be it for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, and leave us a like. And we will see you in the next one.